Yeah, Zach, some of us are watching that forecast very closely because one of Arkansas's largest LGBTQ pride celebrations is taking place this weekend. And we've got Richard here with all the details about NWA Pride. Richard, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. Happy to have you. And I know you're with NWA Equality. So first, tell us a bit more about that organization, what you all do for the community. It's an LGBT, LGBTQ advocacy organization that supports, empowers, and promotes the, the community through yeah. our social programs, HIV testing, peer groups, and other programs that we put on throughout the year. And one of those programs that's coming up is NWA Pride. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's, yeah. I'm just shocked that we're back here again this year. Like it just comes so fast. It really does. I feel like you were here just like the other day right? talking about last year's <laughs> Absolutely. parade. Absolutely. What is some things that are going to be new this year people can expect? So new this year with the Trans March, we have Trans Fest that will be happening uh, this evening after the march uh, at the Fayetteville Town Center. That's new. We're bringing back our pool party this year on Sunday up at Mount Sequoia. So cool. we're hoping those rain showers hold off on Sunday for yeah. that. Bite NWA is going to be giving us a cool brunch experience up there, and it should be a whole lot of fun. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a jam-packed weekend. I know we've been looking at the hot temperatures, so what are some ways that you are going to make sure people are going to be safe out there while still having a good time? So there'll be plenty of opportunities to get some shade. We have tents set up around the main stage. Beaver Water District is bringing down their H20 Aces truck that will be stationed in the middle of the festival, and they're also going to have a satellite station at Art Court on Dixon Street. Okay, big question of the morning because I know it's going to be a lot to walk through, but walk us through this weekend starting today and Sunday. What is all going down? So today we have we start off with Trans March yep. at 7 p.m. The festival will follow that at the Fayetteville Town Center. Other events tonight, Maxine's Tap Room is having their dance party. Our Adventures is having another party over at the Prior Center. C4 has Axel Andrews tonight. Tomorrow we have the festival starting at 11 with the main stage and the vendors all in the municipal lot on West and Dixon Street. Uh, the parade kicks off at 5 p.m. Yeah. And then we have Glitterville at 9 p.m. at George's Majestic Lounge. And then the pool party on Sunday up at Mount Sequoia. Man, so much going on. Where can people go if they want to see a breakdown of the events? NWAPride.org has all of our calendar information, has volunteer information, because we still need volunteers yeah. at this point. And you can donate, too. And I'm glad you brought up the volunteering because I love your shirt. Yeah, this is modeling the new, this morning. The new volunteer t-shirt. <laughs> and what can they expect to do? How can they help during the parade? Oh, there are so many different things from helping set up the festival, helping line up parade participants, um, filling ice chests. I mean, there's there's a, yeah. a slew of jobs that that we can always put people to work for. Awesome. So